Hi there, it's Dave Millar and we're going to talk about how to write the perfect offer. In today's market, it is incredibly competitive. You are competing against other buyers for that same property. So how you write your offer and how you craft it is incredibly important. There's going to be a few factors that are you're going to go into play that you immediately need to think about. One is there is a lot of cash buyers out in the marketplace. Now if you have cash, you have a hand up on everybody else, but you're probably going to be competing against other cash buyers. So you need to take this into mind. Don't go into writing an offer situation thinking that you're better than everybody else just because you have cash. Cash is quite uh, prevalent right now in the marketplace. So when you write your offer, you want to look at a few issues. One is the time frame. Um, it used to be a standard of 30 days. Now sellers want to sell their properties quicker. So if you can tighten that up, uh, some people are doing seven day escrows. Generally you don't want to do any less than that because you're going to need to do a title report. Title report is going to make sure that there's no liens on the property. That's going to take about a week for the title company to complete. So that is something that you really want to take into consideration. So if you can tighten up your loan, your uh, Escrow, your, your uh, escrow time uh, to, to 24 days, 14 days, that's a plus. Also, your inspection contingencies. I never tell people to waive their septic inspection. If you have a septic tank, you need to dig that up and take a look at it. Unless one has been done in recent time, like in, in the past month. Um, if you have a septic inspection in hand and maybe there's already a home and a pest inspection done by the seller, then you might want to consider tightening up that uh, contingency period down to maybe five, seven days, enough time to read all the documentation. Um, in the old days, you used to be able to have 17 days for an inspection contingency period, but when you're competing, you want to tighten all those time frames up so the shorter the better. But um, Make sure that you talk with your agent. Make sure you see what the seller's disclosures say before you make any decisions about the inspection period. And then lastly, uh, just make sure that you don't have a lot of demands on the seller. Um, the seller may have a title company that they want to use. The seller may want to keep a few uh, proper items like a chandelier, which is technically um, personal property, I mean real property, they want to make it personal property and take that chandelier with them, let them do it. Um, right now, sellers are in the driver's seat, so the buyer that's going to give the least resistance at the highest price with the shortest contingency periods is going to get the deal. If you have any other questions uh, regarding the escrow process or buying, please don't hesitate to call us and remember, real estate should be fun.